controls. Uh, user controls are a great, great way to minimize your code and also maintenance of your web applications. Uh, user controls share oops, user controls share a lot of similarities to uh, web forms. Really, the main difference is being uh, the directives. So right here, you know, you have your normal page directive at the top. User controls instead of page directives, they have uh, control directives. Also, another important. Uh, difference to point out is user controls cannot be requested uh, directly by the client browser rather uh, they're embedded inside of other web pages so let's go ahead and create a uh, simple control here I'm just going to put a panel a label inside that panel and then a button that updates that label with the current time Label one dot text equals date dot now dot too short time string. All right, so now in our web, now I'm in uh, my web form that I added, and I'm going to want to uh, register that user control that I just created. Right here, percent at register. Let's see, tag prefix. So, whenever, uh, just to explain this real quick, if you're not familiar, whenever you put in, you know, whenever you put in a button here, you see the ASP uh, colon button. The ASP is the prefix right here. So, I'll just put in user control and then button is uh, equivalent to tag name. So I'll just put an update. SRC the location of your control. Also another way to do it, with a really nice feature of Visual Studio here is, is you can just drag and drop it right in there and register. So now that we have it registered we can go ahead and use it. So user control update. You want to give it a unique ID. Set update time. Run that server. I'll go ahead and look at it in our web page here and run it. Now the reason why user controls are so nice is, you know, so it, so if this was a header and we had it in, you know, say three different pages, uh, if we needed to make one change in one of those headers, we'd have to go to each individual page and change whatever it is we needed to change. Uh, instead, using user controls, we can uh, just change whatever we needed to in that user control, and then it automatically updates and all the different pages that it was in. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me.